Here's my little finish nail. <laughs> That's the only one I could find. It's kind of a big one. But I'm just going to do a little probing here. See, I'm not hitting anything right there. It's all right. Now I can take that and go that way. And I can go this way. There it is. See, I'm hitting the edge of the stud right there. Okay, so, so I know it's over a little bit. And the edge of the stud is probably about right there. So the center of the stud is probably over a little bit further. And I'm going to do some more probing. I want the center. Okay, so I can take that and kind of go there. And I'm hitting, that's right on the edge again. See, because this was going in at a real angle and I was hitting the edge of the stud way over. Okay, so I know that, that nail, that hole there is almost on the edge if I put it at an angle. So I know the edge of the stud is there and over an inch and a half. I know the center is going to be about three quarters over from that. And I can measure that. There. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to go right there. It's going to be my center. And since I have my my top gun, I'm just going to put a little bit on there. I mean, I I don't really have to do that cuz it's going to be behind the cabinet, but you know, whatever. Okay, so now I know where the center of that stud is. And before I just start measuring over willy-nilly from the wall to there saying, okay, I got 15 and an eighth, and measuring from the edge of the cabinet 15 and an eighth drilling a hole, I have to remember a couple of different things. And here, here's what I'm talking about. You see down there, I've got some baseboard there. It's a very thin piece of baseboard granite but I'm not going to take that off I'm going to push the cabinet right up against that edge so that is a half an inch okay and the back the back piece is a half an inch now when the cabinets there granted six feet up I'm going to screw it right tight to the wall and it's going to have kind of a slight angle if I really want it to be really tricky I could put a little piece of something a half inch uh, strip or something behind the cabinet let's say you know at the very top before I screw it in and I could do something like that okay so I'll look at this right here and make a determination uh, I got 15 and an eighth so actually if I come over a half an inch I'm gonna be 14 and 5 eighths I believe 14 and 5 eighths I guess okay from the edge of the cabinet 14 and 5 eighths all right so now I come back over here where the cabinet is 14 and 5 eighths I, I can measure okay now that's that's from the edge 14 and 5 eighths and I want to measure on the inside there and so I can I can do 14 and 5 eighths and get just a pencil mark there and then I can measure on the inside and that's 14 and I can come back here measure 14 like that and that's where I'm going to pre-drill a hole for a screw okay and that one screw I can probably get by with one screw I, I could put two screws if I want you know one high one low or I can just put one well I'll decide what to do I'll pre-drill that and then I've got some sheetrock screws and see this back this back piece is uh, about five eighths of an inch then I've got the sheetrock which is another half an inch so there's an inch and an eighth I could use inch and five eighth screws or I can use two inch screws and luckily for me I've got both I think I'm gonna go with two inch drywall screws and ram it in there Ooh -wee. Man, I've got a laminate floor so I gotta make sure not to scratch it I have carpet, I could just slide this along, but I don't. I'm kind of 
kind of glad I took the uh, the closet doors off after all. You know. Now to get it in there. Yeah. You see, that's going to be right inside my closet. Closet doors will still slide right past it, it'll be fine. I push it right up against the side there. Like that. Well, it doesn't look like the wall's very square, does it? That's all right. As long as I get it as long as I get it close and I'm tight, I'm tight at the back, I think that's going to be fine. And I'm just going to push it right up against the wall and screw it in. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do. Where's that drill of mine? Okay, you know the floor is off and stuff, and I and I, and I checked the uh, the left hand side here actually with the level. I just happen to have a level here, and I checked that, and I'm pretty close. If anything, this has to go over to the left a little bit more. I'm not going to do that. And see, I probably should have held this cabinet up first. See the big gap I have here. So when I measured off of that wall. And I pre-drilled my holes, so now I'm going to have to take those holes and maybe put it in at a slight angle. And I think because I'm on the in the middle of a stud, see the stud, these these lines are over to the left just a little bit. I think I'm still going to hit the the stud. We'll see. Yeah. We got a slight angle here. Okay, that's all that's going to hold this cabinet. That's it. Ah, uh, you know, I had some two and a half inch screws. Now, because I put that at an angle, I'm just barely hitting the stud. And I want to make this kind of secure, so I'm going to use a two and a half incher here. And I'll take this one out too. I always like to carry, see this is a coarse drywall screw, meaning it's got big threads. You also have ones with fine threads. The fine threads, when you see those at the store, you think, well, are those for wood? No, those are for metal. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now to get this door on. Let's see back to those screws. I carry inch and a quarter inch and five eighths, two inch, two and a half, and three inch, all coarse drywall screws. Don't leave home without them.